Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. So I bought myself some chilies and I want to show you how you can dry them naturally. This is uh, drying them without the oven and just as natural as it can be. So I got this for 10 Kenya shillings, which translates to, I think 10 cents in dollars in usd uh correct me if i'm wrong and already as you can see they have started drying or they've started ripening because what happens with chilies is that when they are raw they are green then they start turning and they turn into a red and eventually they turn into an orange or a yellow but it also depends on which uh, species you're using so without much further ado I'm going to the solutions and we have the most common way of drying them because first of all you have to string them the most common way is by using a needle and thread okay so for those who don't know if you have a needle and thread so you just you know pierce into the into your chilies be sure to have tied a knot right at the end of the uh, of the string and continue doing that and as you do space them up maybe like three centimeters and let's continue doing that so at the end of the exercise, you should have something that looks like that. We're going to put that on the side. Then I'm going to show you the other method that, uh, according to me, is the easiest one. Okay? If you can, you use wire. Remember to use wire that does not rust. So this is brass wire. This is gauge 24 hard. So at the end, just do a loop. In this case, you don't need tools. Just do a loop like that. Okay. And then we are going to do the same thing that we were doing with the needles. But now we are going to using our hands and we are going to drive through the wire like that. Pull it right to the end. Then we are going to add more. So there we have it guys. So all our chilies are strung up, ready to be hung, to dry. And remember, there are certain rules that you follow when you're drying your chilies. Never hang them in direct contact with sunlight. That will spoil their composition. Yes, they'll end up drying, but you will not get the nutritional value that you should be getting from the chilies. So always dry your chilies in a shed away from direct sunlight away from heat don't store them over a stove or a fireplace that will also damage them so just store them in a in your house in a shed away from sunlight and make sure you are the place that you've stored them is well ventilated so that we have air coming in and out and we have the right amount of temperature coming in and out of the house never store them in a place where it's it's very humid and while they're drying be sure to check on them and see that they are not molding up if you notice it's molding up <coughs> when you pick up a chili you might notice some some white parts forming in your in the skin or on, or at the top as it's continue drying you know the the top part will fall off so just pick in and see whether you have some white parts if you have some white parts inside then uh, you have to discard of that chili or you're not storing it in the right place so they're going to take about uh, two to four weeks to dry completely depending on the environment and the rate of evaporation and I'm going to come back with dry chilies and I'm going to show you how to best store store dried chilies. 
Uh, so I've come back after three weeks and our chilies are completely dry. And then we're going to go on to the next stage, which is crushing them, separating the seeds from the coverings and storing them. And so for you to process the chilies, you need a mortar and pestle like I have. But even before we get to that, we are going to start sorting our chilies and weed out the bad ones. So start by putting small by small pieces into your mortar and pestle, but I forgot. Before that, let's just remove the, the tops. So that's how it ends up after you crush them. Then you're going to pour them into onto a clean surface. <coughs> and when you're working, remember to wear a mask and gloves if you can. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate the flakes from the seeds. Uh, but if you prefer to keep them all together, then that's also fine. Some people will, will even throw away the flakes and just keep the seeds but the seeds are a good addition to dishes as so are the seeds but maybe in different dishes and store them in an airtight container it can be a plastic container like this or it can also be a glass container like this that I used to store salt <laughs> And enjoy your chilies. So guys, that's how you process your dry chilies and store them effectively. If you if you not subscribed, please consider subscribing and leave a comment down below if there is a request that you have for a video that you'd like me to do. And I hope this video was helpful to you and maybe you can apply some of the lessons that you've learned. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.